Okay, this video is about installing the RA6 remote. We have the handheld portion and we have the base station. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the base station in the front. It is not where it normally goes, but this is just to make it easier for the video. And you see the light has come on. Then we're going to come over to Tools, System Settings, and we're going to tell it that it has an RA6 remote. So we're going to check that, and then Save Settings. And we're going to Accept. It doesn't focus in and out very well. Sorry, it's a phone. And then we're going to go into Com Tools. Now, it's going to give you an error message, but that's fine. That just tells you that it's it not able to read the COM port because it's wrong. And here's the listing of the COM port that it did find. And we're going to come over here and we're going to set this. So we want to set this to 4. I'm going to use the up and down arrows because it's easier than, than doing the buttons when I'm holding a camera. Okay, so now we're all set. And this side represents the handheld remote. And you're going to see lights come on once I turn the remote on. So the remote gets turned on, and it has its own indicator. It flashes a couple times, lets you know it's on. And here we're seeing that the remote is turned on. I press stop, press peel, press toll, list, Bell has a little bit of a delay because it sends a lot more data and aux, which is a swing bell. And that's all there is to that. Now, there are settings where we can set the default settings and tell it which bells that we want to hear. And if it had a list, the list would show here, but the list isn't built yet, so it's not showing up. And you can set each one of them. So, for instance, if you don't want a medium swing for AUGs, you can set it for whichever one you want. And then once you select it, you press set. And that's all there is to it. We're going to exit out of here. Whoops, I should have turned the remote off. If you forget to turn the remote off, you get this screen here. Turn your remote off. Use this exit button. It'll give you a warning. Go ahead, select yes. And now we're back into auto mode. Okay. Have a good day.